Now, your first question, if you're an object-oriented programmer, is how do I create multiple instances? Right now, we've hard-coded person. It's kind of like a class, but not really. Well, the simplest way is just to return an instance. And this gets a lot of the performance people extremely angry. But we can show you a simple way to do it. We'll say get person. Tab it over. So you have your person. And if you want to add things to it, you can. But we can do that. Or you can just get rid of person entirely if you don't intend to add things to it or modify it in some way. And there you go. Now you have a, a simple person. And we can get our instance, local person equals get person. And actually, that's a really bad name. Let's say get new person. That way, the word new's in there so that people feel comfortable. It's all about feeling comfortable. I mean, that's what Jesse Warden really strives to do. <laughs> all right, so you can see that it works the same as before. We have a unique instance. It's damage is there for the dagger. The methods work the same. And if you would like, you can get a completely separate one down here, local cow, get new person and copy pasta coding for the win. And we'll just change everything down here to cow. So we have a completely separate instance doing all the same things. And that's the basics of creating a multiple instance. So that's cow doing his damage stuff and that's person doing his damage stuff. And that's one way you can do it is simply just by returning a function that has those built-in methods in. And as long as you follow the scoping rules, the colon, good to go, funky comedina.